Hi everyone and welcome back to Colouring with Kay. I hope you're doing really well and um, thanks for coming by and um, clicking on this video and I hope you stay with me. So today I wanted to share my top five quarantine colouring supplies tag. Um, I saw this tag on another video and um, it was actually Colour Me Stress Free, um, one of my favourite channels and I I saw that she wrote in the description that she tags everyone so I thought okay I can do this um, so I went ahead and decided to film this video so um, my five supplies are as follows okay so the first thing is I was trying to choose between um, my um, Faber-Castell polychromos because they are one of my favourite pencils I didn't really love them when I first bought them but um, I use them more and more and I, I like them more and more um, but um, I didn't choose them because I was sort of inclined to go towards in the end my Holbein's so I chose my Holbein's because I find that they are beautiful pencils I just love the way they feel in your hand um, the, the lacquered um, barrel it's just so smooth just everything about them um, I really like I really like the fact that you get the pastel shades which you don't really get in um, every other pencil set that you might buy um, so I've got the full set I think which I think I bought the 100 set and then I um, brought the rest open stock from Jackson's Art though I do have um, one pencil missing which I couldn't get hold of which is the 620 I think that's the bronze but um, I can live with that. I brought a spare, um, a spare uh, soft white because that's just an amazing um, white pencil for highlights and things. Um, so yeah, my Holbein's would be my choice to keep with me in quarantine because um, I just love them. I think they work really well, and um, you know they. They just work a dream. I like the way they blend, I like the way they lay down and I love the pastel colours. So that's my first thing. So I've got my Holbein pencils. Uh, second, I had to have some form of water media. So um, it was either a toss up between um, the Museum Aquarelles, which I really was leaning towards but then I know these Derwent Inktense pencils are not strictly watercolour, they ink but um, they are a water medium and I wanted some form of water medium so then I decided to go with um, my Inktense pencils so this is the wooden box version which I got um, quite some time ago because you can see the smaller size um, of some of the colours that I use a lot like peacock blue so ink tents why do I really like them because the colours are so vibrant um, and they I don't know they just work a dream I really really like the intense colours that's the main reason I like the colours that you get in the set as well and I just I just enjoy use them using them so that would my be my second choice the Derwin ink tents pencils um, third, I had to have some form of gel pen, something glittery, and I was leaning towards um, my um, Jelly Roll Sakura pens, but then it had to be these, it just had to be the um, Pentel Dual Hybrid pens, because they are just so glittery, and I, I just love how, I mean, I can't find any gel pens that are as sparkly as these. So it would have to be this um, 12 set of um, Pentel Dual Hybrid pens and of course it's got its gold and the silver in there so I had to go with those. So they would be my choice for gel pens because I would need gel pens um, in my stash. And then fourth I had to go with another medium, um, I had pencils, watercolour pencils and then I thought I need some form of alcohol markers. Um, and so I chose the Spectrum Noir uh, tri markers to keep in the case, sorry about the noise, 
the sticky velcro so you can see them all in there there are um, 24 here but the best thing about them that I like is the fact that um, because they try blend the three colours the three shades that go well together are all in the same um, pen and you wouldn't expect them to last as long as the normal Spectrum Noir um, marker pen because of course there's a third of each sort of colour or less than a third maybe I don't know but you can see that there's your three colours and they are all labelled um, there tri-blend Spectrum Noir so you've got the light here on this end the mid there and the dark and so I chose these because in quarantine um, I don't have to worry about finding you know the right marker to blend my colours it's within within here um, as it is so just to show you a little um, example here I mean this shouldn't bleed because this is actually um, marker marker paper alcohol marker paper so I thought I would show a bit so if I go work in this little corner here maybe bring you in a little bit there and so um, oh yeah my light green is jade green oh it's not my, it's not my light green it's all right there uh, we've got that light and then the darker colour which we're just overlaying there overlapping it and then this is the dark which I'm overlapping on the mid colour and then what I'll do is use the light and go over it again it actually does have instructions it does have instructions you can buy these pens um, sing in singles as well um, as well as in packs I think of three um, as well as big bigger packs as well obviously the full 24 set um, as well so that's the I mean I'm not an expert so you know there'll be other people can blend better than me definitely with alcohol markers so um, there's that I might choose another colour to show you because I don't know if these have received as much um, sort of publicity as say other art media so I thought I might just advertise it on here well not advertise it but you know what I mean just show them wrong word okay so that's the mid colour and then the darker colour so I, I sort of remember how much I bought these on Amazon UK I think it was about around 60 to 70 pounds something like that um, but I've got a spare pack of these as well because I think they were on sale for maybe £50 but I don't know if that that is still the case um, so there we go that's the blend, I think that blend is quite good actually uh, so that's the tri-blend um, the tri-blend uh, Spectrum Noir markers that I would also have um, in my, um, I'll just zoom you out again, in my quarantine um, existence life. Okay, so that's that. Next, um, I wanted to choose paints, but I thought I would bundle these together because um, I need these as my essential bits now. I don't count these um, as one. Sorry, I don't count these as you know individual things. I count this as a bundle, as one, because they are just accessories. They're not your main um, colouring supplies to use in quarantine. So I think that argument is, you know, quite believable. So stick with me on that one. So basically, my accessories or essentials are things like the white Posca marker. I chose that because that's an essential to add accents and highlights in your... Uh, colouring page. Um, I thought my glaze is an essential say if I want to add um, a shiny accents to anything so that's my glaze pen. 
essential eraser I chose my mono zero um, mono zero eraser a sparkly pen highlight over pencil um, so I chose my wing Costello brush so like the um, sparkly sheen it gives of course a water brush so I chose my zig water brush um, the fine detailer tip and then finally uh, what I keep in this little um, container is my um, M&R sharpener um, which is well trusted and works brilliantly so basically that is um, my five things I'd keep in quarantine with me so I tag everyone who watches this and would like to record a similar video and um, if you don't want to do that alternatively I'd love to know um, what five things you'd keep with you in quarantine so let me know in the comments below so thanks for watching and see you next time bye